6.30 in the morning, going fishing with my cousin, Alan. His friends like to call him Trisha. We's gonna start off here at the Little Miami River. Putting a waterproof. <laughs> so loud. So loud. All right, there we go. Smalley. We're on, finally. We've got a couple bites today from Spotted's, but which one we've been able to reel in. We've got a tiny bit of sprinkle, overcast, perfect 70 degree weather, 65 degree weather. All right, little buddy. Chill out, all right? Chill. While it's a beautiful morning, 65 degrees, the bite is a little rough. We had a cold front last night and the waters are a little muddy. So we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna hit up a new lake, um, see what we can get. I haven't actually targeted largemouth in quite some time. It's been several videos since I've been actually been going for largemouth. Mostly uh, sauger, spotted, white bass, um, that kind of stuff. So let's see if we can get some largemouth today. Okay, where are you guys? Give me a lunker. Come on, give me a five pounder. <laughs> give me a largey. Who's out there? Looks like we got some rain coming in here in a minute. That should help a bite. Where are you guys? Come on. Who wants this big Texas rig buffet? Who wants this big plastic worm? Come on, look at that action. Anybody out there? Anybody out there? Is that something? Fish up. Nice. Fish on, finally. Slow bite today. There was a cold front last night. So the bite was really slow. All right, we got a little two pounder over here. Bite was pretty slow all day. But this one helped me out. Nice little large mouth. Thank you. Let's get you back in the water. Let's get you back in the water. I caught that on one of those uh, cool exo sticks uh, from the mystery tackle box. Um, I think I went with a like a green pumpkin color. Although these are some cool looking colors. I bit off a couple of the segments to make them a little smaller, put on a Texas uh, Texas rigged hook, fluorocarbon lead on braid. 
Looks like it did the trick. All right, it looks like it's starting to sprinkle there. I think that like knocks bugs out of the sky or something and the fish start feeding at the surface. They like these light sprinkles. Maybe it oxygenates the water a little bit more. Fish on. There we go. It's another two pounder. Another two pounder. Dude, calm. All right, the rain's coming. Got one bass right there, right when the rain started dropping at the top. Same, same bait. Peace. Hey, now that we're on a roll for a largemouth bass, I'm gonna move over to the Grand Valley Nature Preserve over in Camp Denison and um, stick with the plan for largemouth. Um, this first catch, there's no audio. Um, I have my backup GoPro, and I forgot to turn on the, the microphone for that. Um, and the uh, audio for the rest of this video is a little lower quality um, because I ruined my GoPro Hero 4 by falling in a hole, a watery hole. Um, the last video um, got water in it, and I thought the rice would fix it, but it didn't. But that's okay. It gave me an excuse to buy the uh, GoPro Hero 8, the newest version. Um, which I'll be using after this video from here on out. There we go. I saw you. I saw you sneaking up on that. I saw you sneaking up on that drop shot. Just barely lipped you there at the top. Dude, you're gonna calm down. been piss poor about handling those things lately. Fish on? Might be our largest today. There are baby birds nest around here. This is about your average Grand Valley Nature Preserve largemouth. There are big ones in here, but usually these are the ones that I catch up by the shore. Um, I gotta get the kayak out here. What do you say, big guy? All right, let's get back at it. Gotcha. You try to you were trying to ambush it right below that stick, weren't you? You were trying to ambush 
push that right below that stick. Not today, sir. Keep an eye out for that bald eagle. It's around here. Going after my Berkeley power shot. I nose hook a little power bait by Berkeley. Drop shot the bass minnow. It's about it's three inches. It's got a little fleck in it. Put the hook through the nose, and I have the hook facing up. So when I set the hook, all I have to do is pull up on the lot on the rod, and that's all to it. That's all to it for the drop shot, which I don't always use, but I find. That at this particular location, it's been effective. You can even drop shot worms. A lot of bait fish in this area. Ah, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> oh. You little booger. You little booger. Let's get you over the water in case you want to flop out. So you thought you were the one that deserved it, huh? Looking good, buddy. Let's keep at it and see if we can get something bigger. There, I got the uh, polarized glasses on. I wonder if they see me behind these trees. All right, come on. Bring that gulp shot up. He's going for it. He's going for it. Yeah! <laughs> Get on the bank. Whoa! All right. That's where the polarized sunglasses come in handy, where you can sight fish these guys. Put them right, sorry buddy, you're a little dirty. You can put them right, put the bait right where you want it. And then you can make a dance or do whatever to entice them. And you get a big old, well, not a big old bass at all. But for this place, it seems like it's big. This is definitely our best one of the day. Nah. And he's off. What a great looking color on him. Really green color that matches this. Nice, that was fun. I can't tell, no, that's carp. Look at that thing. Look at the size of that carp. Oh my God, that thing. Look at the size of that freaking carp. I tried. I tried. You guys are good luck. Well, maybe not. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, Mr. Green Sunfish. Ow, motherfucker. Got some nice colors on you.
Big appetite. There we go. There we go. That's a bass. That's a bass. Come on. Got you up by those sticks, didn't I? Got you up by that lay down, didn't I? Hiding out under cover in this sun, huh? today. Um, nothing to write home about. Although if I wrote home about it, I would be the one that would get those letters. I don't know. Maybe that might work. I. Uh, well, that will do it. This is the Grand Valley Nature Preserve. Um, it's not open to everyone. Unfortunately, you have to be on the Indian Hill, Indian Hill Waterworks, which includes parts of Indian Hill, Sims Township, Madeira, uh, Camp Denison, if you're a customer, you can get a pass here. All right, let's have a good one. Thanks for sticking around.